Alright guys, I was uh, down here in the edge of the woods uh, at my grandma's. Um, can't really see over here. but uh, And I heard a frog croaking and uh, I knew it didn't sound like a green tree frog and it didn't sound like a toad. So uh, there was uh, one tree frog that I have been searching for and um, I was looking around and it stopped making noise when I came close to it. and uh, I was looking and I kept looking and then finally I saw it posted up on the fence. And I couldn't believe I was actually seeing it, so I know they're pretty common around here, but this right here is a gray tree frog. And it's um it's a really pretty species of tree frog. And uh this is the first time I've seen one this year. I used to see them a lot and uh we just had a rainfall. So, uh, yeah, it's really cool. This is a pretty nice size one, too. He's got a really pretty pattern on his back. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad I found this guy. So, uh, yeah, let's see if I can get some good shots of him. Yeah, it's a really pretty tree frog. But, uh, I was surprised I saw him, like, when I finally did see him posted up on there, I was like, whoa, was, it sort of surprised me. Because I was just thinking, like, where would they be at? And uh, there he was, right there, just hanging out. So, uh, yeah, it's really cool. It's really camouflaged in the area that he hangs out in. They usually, uh, you'll see him on a bunch of grayish looking uh, tree bark and around moss and stuff. And um, they're really well camouflaged most of the time, especially during the day, they're usually not out. They're usually hanging out in holes inside the trees. But uh, yeah, this, we just had a pretty nice little rainfall, so he was actually out and active. And, uh, yeah, like I said, really cool pattern on him. And, uh, let's see. Get some good shots of him. Oh. I think he's wanting to jump. He's just hanging out. Um, most of the tree frog species are actually uh, really easy to get film of because they don't move around too much. Um, see, he's just hanging out. He's not really worried about me at all. But, um, yeah, really cool looking guy. He's got sort of a bumpy looking pattern as you can see on him. And um, he's definitely one of my favorite tree frogs. Probably one of my favorite frogs in all, except for the uh, narrow mouth frog, because uh, narrow mouth's definitely my favorite. And uh, I actually came across a narrow mouth not too long ago. It was a couple days ago, and um, I lost him. And then I uh, saw him again and lost him the second time. So I was pretty upset about that because I've been making, want to make a video of one of those. But um, this definitely helps. This takes its place for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I found this guy. He's really pretty. So, uh, well, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get some photos so I can take him back to where he was because I'm sure he's ready to go get him some insects and stuff. So, uh, glad I could share this with you guys, and uh, thank you for watching. Okay, hopefully I got some good enough photos of this guy, so I'm going to release him now. Alright. And now, he can go on and live his happy little gray tree frog life. And, uh, hopefully, he didn't uh, get too upset about me filming him. No. Pretty photogenic, so. Alright. Well, we'll see you later, Mr. Tree Frog. He looks really cool up close in his natural environment.
All right. It was nice filming you. And maybe we'll cross paths again some other day. Bye-bye. See you later, Ribbit.